Good afternoon and welcome to Adams Park. Today, the home of Jersey Bulls. Normally, Wick and Wanderers on what is a glorious sunny day. The pitch looks in excellent condition. The early team news today for the Bulls in goal, Ewan van der Vliet. The back four of Frank Tobin, Jay Giles, James Kerry, the skipper and Luke Campbell. We expect Cayman Nafka, Fraser Barlow and Adam Trotter to run the midfield with up front Kieran Lester, Carl Hines and in an unusual possession, Johnny LeCain. On the bench today is Jake Prince, Joe Kilshaw and Ruben Mendes Pastana. For Banstead Athletic, their goalkeeper Devon Gordon, their captain Steve Newman, Ben Drake, Emmanuel Akitu, Nathaniel Asani, Washington Omenyi, David Awamola, Ruben Duncan, Connor Cullen, Scott Walker and Fabio Nunes. The substitutes are Liam Holden, Alexandre Stingelin, William Crozier, Bo Fowler and Lorcan Francis. Today's match officials are referee Robert Alderton from Ashford. Local boys assisting today, James Bird and Richard Blackwood. And we're away here. Give us some movement in the middle. He's trotted as well. Frank Tobin well in. But again, here comes Armeni, but he's lost out. And it looks Johnny LeCain now. Johnny LeCain bearing down. He's looked, got Carl Hines on the edge. Carl Hines tries to play it to Fraser Barlo. Comes up to Trotter as a shot. And a good save there from Gordon in goal. Well, that was really encouraging with the balls. Nice quick play. And a lovely shot by Trotter, which it looked like it was bound for the top left-hand corner. But a good save by Gordon, who reacted well. And it will be the first corner. A little bit of a delay in proceedings here and then van der Vliet does take the goal kick finds Johnny LeCain he's got acres of space and so is Carl Hines oh ball given away by Nafka though and it's Walker with the ball has a go at goal and he scored well against the run of play you'd say and that's a goal to Banstead and it's 1-0 well 15 minutes gone and Banstead Athletic find themselves in the lead a little bit of confusion there. Ball played short to Nafka. Nafka couldn't control it. Quickly bounced it onto that. And they take advantage of the mistake at the back. Van der Vliet, no chance off his line. And the ball clipped past him into the net. The balls will need to regroup quickly here. Trotter does well. Goes past two into the box. Trotter still going. Looks to play the ball across. No one there. Nafka does quickly across into the middle. Nafka, is he going to have a shot? He plays it short to Johnny LeCain and he's muscled out of that one. By Ogsaini who gives it away and the Bulls have it into the box and it's Tobin under pressure. Shouts from the fan zone for a penalty but I think the momentum of the run from Tobin pace into the box. He just couldn't control the ball under his feet and he lost his balance and it'll be no more than a goal kick quickly short to Carl Hines and Campbell quickly across from his centre to cut that out Jay Giles has it plays it quickly Barlow Barlow to Hines goes for the goal oh Carl Hines with a long range effort there must have been about 20 yards outside the penalty box saw the keeper Gordon off his line and went for the shot and it's just inches over the bar hitting the top of the net good bit of vision there from Carl Hines unlucky not to be rewarded with a goal and Trotter manages to bring it down good skill from him he's got some support here Kieran Lester Jay Giles comes for him and then a quick ball in into cut to Fraser Barlow who's unmarked in the middle but now Trotter Gets it, Johnny LeCain looking for Frank Tobin to play it through. Just thread that ball but couldn't. Nafka's come up with it. He's got support. Trotter gonna have a go, no. Nice ball inside to Nafka, Nafka crosses it. And it's, it's, oh, it is, oh, how did that not go in? Well, like pinball there in the middle. Ball I think fell in the end to Fraser Barlow, just couldn't control it and it's going to be a corner though to the Bulls, second of the game for them. And Hines has come short. Ball played up 
Nice to Fraser Bay. He's got an overlap here. Here comes down the left hand side. First down shot. Kiva only saves half of it. Oh, well. Super play there by Johnny Lacane. Takes the ball, goes through, takes the shot. The keeper does well, only parries it. And Kieran Lester doing his best to get in there and try and make the rebound from the keeper's save, but can't quite get there. And Gordon somehow manages to get the ball again. And that is the end of the first half here at Adams Park, where the Bulls trail one goal to nil against Banstead Athletic who apart from their goal so far have had little or no chances in this first half. The Bulls having most of the possession creating more of the game's chances and having had to call on Gordon in goal to make one or two decent saves. But half time it is and the score 1-0 taken looking for Carl Hines can't hold it off. But Campbell does well. Trying a little back heel flick there by Cullen, but Campbell does well and plays it out and finds Trotter. Who cuts inside. Trotter now plays it through nicely for Barlow. Can Barlow get there? Oh, he does well. Tries, but doesn't manage to get that ball across. Carl Hines was in the middle. Kieran Lester in the middle, but neither couldn't quite. Just run out of room there, and it will go out for a goal kick. And it's played out, looking to get Johnny Lacane out right on this right-hand side. Poor pass there, though, by the A's. Although they get it back, a bit of pinball in the middle. And, oh, C Campbell's made a mistake there. And it's let Ameni in, number six, who crosses it. Nobody there. Ball's come away with it there. A little mistake at the back by Luke Campbell. Ameni with pace gets past him. Looks to play it in, but luckily for the Bulls, nothing comes of it. Nobody in the middle for the ball that was crossed in. There's a little bit more fight already in the side of Aki from Akitu there for the A's. Looking to get a bit of muscle in, but a lovely ball there played out here by Kere to Frank Tobin. Frank Tobin with a bit of pace, crosses it first time and oh, just eludes the header of Adam Trotter in the middle, charging in. And again, it's just goes out for a goal kick but lovely bit of play there James Kerry releasing Frank Tobin down the right Tobin takes it at pace and crosses it and just Trotter can't quite get his head on it the A's have got it and they've done well there still played it forward so it's on menu and he's got a chance to shoot on goal oh, and he side foots it more of a back pass than a shot straight at Van der Vliet well again Danger for the Bulls there early on in this second half. We're just about five or six minutes gone and not good signs there. That a couple of mistakes have led to chances. Bulls have it. Here comes Johnny Lacane. Johnny Lacane now drives forward. He plays it through. Kieran Lester is onside. Kieran Lester now. Is there anyone in the middle? Fraser Barlow looking for oh played in. Looks shouts for handball not given. And then it's just kicked anywhere there by the A's and that's played out by Walker. So are we going to see one of Prince, Mendes, Pastana or Kilshaw just doing their stretching on the far side? The Bulls look to play it forward and it looks like a foul there on... No, I'm not given. The referee decides that Trotter wasn't fouled, but the ball's through now. It's Carl Hines. Carl Hines has got it into the box, crosses it, and it's there. Oh, yes, the Bulls have scored. And it's Kieran Lester with the equaliser. Lovely bit of play there by Carl Hines. Managed to get his cross in, eludes the defence of the A's, and at the far post, there is Kieran Lester, and it's 1 1 here at Adams Park. 13 minutes played of the second half and the Bulls are back on level terms here. Is that the start of their drive to take this game and win this match? Johnny Lecain looks to head it across but Hosseini's there but comes now nicely to Fraser Balu who plays it through and here goes Jake Prince. Jake Prince! Oh what a save by the keeper! Jake Prince took it through. Look to just place it into the bottom left-hand corner, but the keeper, Gordon, does really well there and gets a really strong hand on it. And the A's will play it out and look to get it out 
to Nunes, who has switched, as he did in the first half, across to the right-hand side, having started on the left. Akitu has come across, and he is playing on this left wing. And they look for Akito there, but he, he does get there. And he, he does. Oh, and it's a penalty. It's a, is it a penalty? Well, it looks like it may well be here. Yeah, Johnny LeCain went across and his arm was not in the normal position. And it did look like it hit his arm. And it is a penalty, so Banstead having taken a surprising lead in the first half to lead 1-0, have now got a chance to get the lead back here. And it will be the goal scorer, Walker, who will take it. And he puts it in the net. Well, he's taken that really well. Van der Vliet goes to his right. Walker goes to his left. And Banstead Athletic are in the lead here, 2-1. Just about halfway through this second half and against the run of play, Banstead second in the table going into this game. The Bulls second from bottom in the table, I should say, Banstead. And the Bulls now find themselves 2-1 down. The Bulls find themselves behind for the second time. Ball played forward and Prince is trying to get after that. He's got two around him, but he's come up with the ball. Jake Prince does really well there. Back heel, lovely to Barlow. Barlow goes for goal. Oh! Good effort from Fraser Barlow and Gordon again is up to the task. That's another good save from the ace keeper and he's put that over for a corner. So the Bulls will keep the pressure up here on the A's looking to get an equaliser. Frank Tobin ready it now. The Bulls have it. It's playing to the middle and it's Jake Prince. Yes, and he scored. Oh, no, he's not. The referee assistant on this side has had his flag up. Well, it's a good finish by Jake Prince, but it's ruled out for offside. Well, the Bulls looked so close to being back on terms at 2-2 and only for the linesman's flag to come up. And we have the shuffle capital man of the match today is Fraser Barlow. So well done to Fraser Barlow. He's had a really good game up front, trying desperately hard to keep off a Saini who's been all over him today. So. Congratulations to Fraser Barlow, the shuffle capital man of the match. Free kick played in. Oh, I'll keep it as well, but straight at him. Still limping a little bit. He's going to get his way through this game by the looks of it. Certainly for me, their man of the match in terms of his performance for the A's today. But to knock it into the box, and he does. Up to the penalty spot. Oh, back post. Good save again from Gordon. Alert, ball crossed back in. Oh, Barlow can't quite get hold of it. And at the back there, Joe Kilshaw finds Mendes Pastana, the other sub. And then it's quickly played by Kerry over to Mendes Pastana. Mendes Pastana cuts in, tries to go, he goes past one. Can he get across? And he tries, he get, here it comes. Oh, diving header there by Drake, the, the, the number three. But Mendes Pastana again whips it towards the center of the box and the penalty spot. Joe Kilshaw though cuts that one out. They were looking to release Cullen there. And here comes Kilshaw, skips past one, skips past two. Does well there. Johnny LeCain now on this, in the middle of the park, plays it through for Kieran Leicester. Leicester with a quick ball in. Deflected and cut out there by Asani, and that's another corner to the Bulls. Some stoppage time for sure. Jay Giles, in he crosses it. Goes to the back post. Van der Vliet is up there with a the shot charged down. Well, Van der Vliet crept up there and he got the shot. Now he seems to be hobbling back. Well, this isn't good either. And they'll be making their third substitution of the game. And it is in fact the keeper, Jay Jordan, Devin Gordon, who has gone off. Well, he's had a super game for them, but that injury looks to have ended his game just before the end of full time. And it looks like one of the outfield players will go in goal. Oh, tries to clear it, Akito. Only half does, and Trotter has it. So he plays it quickly to Barlow. Barlow now does well there. Fraser Barlow going past two. Still got the ball. Adam Trotter being urged to shoot by the crowd into the box. Trotter, edge of the box. 
and they've, they've come away with it here, the A's. Now, this is dangerous. Here comes Akitu. Kere's really quickly across and wins that ball well. Good sliding challenge, controls the ball at the same time. Barlow again in the middle. Barlow, high foot on him, but he's still going. Ref gives play on and then Barlow gets brought down, but the A's come up with it again. And Tobin is there. Now to Kilshaw. Kilshaw has Menes Pastana. Menes Pastana drives forward. He's looking to go in the box. Here comes Menes Pastana. Shoots. Oh, and the keeper makes a super save, tipping it over the bar. Well, Liam Holden, not, I don't think, a regular goalkeeper, but does really well there with a the shot. The crowd have been urging the balls for the last minute or so that Holden's been in goal to replace Gordon to take the shot, and he does. And Holden with a one handed tip over the bar. So another corner to the balls. Their fifth of this second half. Can they do something here? We must have only a minute or two, if that left. And Van der Vliet is forward. Ball comes in. Van der Vliet, and it, oh, it's cleared off the line. There's crowds for it, but it has cleared off. It looked like it was in, but no, not given. Well, that looked like the equaliser for the Bulls. Van der Vliet up there causing trouble, out jumping their keeper, missing it, and it looks like it fell to Frank Tobin, but he couldn't get anything on it. And here we go again with Jay Charles. Now Van der Vliet playing at the halfway line. He's going to whip it forward, and he does, and it's flicked on, and it's in the box, and it comes down, crossed in. Oh, and a keeper again. Well, Holden stood strong, and he manages somehow to smother that ball, the corner's taken quickly, Van der Vliet's coming up, the keeper comes for it, gets a hand on it, and another hand, and clears it forward. Oh, and brilliant play by Trotter, because if he hadn't have touched that, they were through for a, a third goal for sure, and that would have killed off the Bulls' hopes. But now, and again it's cleared forward, Van der Vliet is tracking back. Joe Kilshaw comes across, but it's an offside, and the Bulls need to regroup quickly here corner will be taken van der vliet again comes forward in it comes keeper looks to punch doesn't come to him flayed forward and it's there at the back post and as it crossed the line the lino is not making any suggestions down here that it has and the ball's it's in it's gone in absolute thunderbolt into the back of the net and the balls have got their equaliser well 2-2 two, two here at Adams Park is there any time for a restart probably not but a superb finish there the keeper Holden in for Gordon who went off injured wasn't stopping that one it was like an exocet missile into the back of the net and how crucial could that point be for the Bulls now 2-2 two, two here at Wickham So the ball's again, Trotter now, driving forward. Ball's played in, oh, nearly went through. But Menes Pastana has it turning, twisting, trying to get out wide to Giles. Not an option, but he has a bit of support there. And it's here, Prince now, plays it again. Oh, it's cut out there though, and played forward. And it's Banstead now, we've got a chance. Oh, here we go, Banstead are through, and he's round, and it's, oh no! Unbelievable! Banstead have snatched it! It's 3-2! Would you believe it? After the Bulls fought so hard to get back all square. And the number nine, Cullen, has cut inside, goes round Van der Vliet, and Banstead Athletic have snatched this game with well, there can't be any time left here now. The, all these substitutes have come on as if they've won the cup. Uh, absolute scenes here at Adams Park. And the Bulls players look dejected. Well, 3-2 down. There can't be any time left in this game. Oh, and looks like there's going to be a, another substitution here. Something on the far side. Referee's going across to the assistant. Not sure what that's for. Looks like there's going to be a yellow card given to one of the Banstead players. Or is it the manager? Something's gone on over there. Looks like it may be their manager who's going to get booked, Carl Taylor. In fact, it's a red card. Well, 
Didn't see that coming, but it looks like it is their, one of their, it's their manager, Carl Taylor, who's got a red card here in stoppage time. Not what for, but maybe he said something to the assistant linesman. The linesman's rightly called the referee off, and if that's foul and abusive, which it may well have been, then he will get a red card. Balls go again, though, here we're into the box. Fraser Barlow looks to nod it on. Comes out. Adam Trotter in looking for Jay Giles, who heads it back across. There's nobody there, though. It just comes up there, Killshaw. Tobin tries to flick it on. And that is it. That is the final whistle here at Adams Park in Wickham. And after an unbelievable seesaw of a game with goals in the first half for the A's from Walker, the Bulls managing to get back into it at 1-1. Then found themselves 2-1 down. And with what seemed to be the last one or two shots of the game, Johnny LeCain smashing the ball into the back of the net for 2-2. And then just when you thought the Bulls had done enough to get a point here, Cullen manages to pick the ball up on a challenge, beat the keeper, Ewan van der Vliet, and side foot it into an empty net. Well, against the runner play and against the positions in the table, Banster Athletic have managed to come away with a surprise victory against the Bulls. A 3-2 win here at Adams Park on a glorious sunny day. The Bulls will be down about that, but they get a chance to bounce back on Tuesday when they will return to London, this time as the away team to play Nap Hill. That's it from us here at Adams Park as the players make their way from the pitch. We'll see you next time.